So hello everyone, I want to do a video about water purification. Um, I live in Hounslow in London and um, what I've bought here is a water distiller. Okay, so what I do, I take tap water. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse the tone of my voice. I've had this, um, oh, nasty cough. Some people might say I've had the coronavirus. I just say I've had a nasty cough, but whatever I've had, I've had it. And that's why my voice is a bit husky right now. But anyway, this video is about my water. So um, I bought this water distiller. Okay. And you can see inside of here. It is really, really disgusting. This is um, the residue from the tap water. You know, I fill this um, thing up with tap water and switch it on. And it's like a big kettle, right? It boils the water and then it produces steam, which then distills. And then um, the pure water okay, uh, comes out here in this, um, you know, glass um, jug here. But, uh, you know, this is really filthy and... I really didn't know just how filthy and smelly our tap water was until I started distilling our water. And you won't know how bad it is until you also start doing the same. You might think, well, actually, it really looks like, you know, when you pour a glass of water from the tap, it looks as if the water is clear, it's pure, you can't tell, right? It it just looks like, you know, it's clear water. It doesn't look dirty. But if you test the water, you'll see like the dissolved solids in it, um, which I'm going to show you now. So um, I have here two glasses of water. One is a glass of uh, London tap water. One is a glass of distilled water. And uh, this is um, the residue from the distiller after um, distilling the water. So what is left behind? Now I've got a, uh, a measuring um, stick here, which um, gives you the indication of the dissolved solids in the water. So let's begin here. Okay, turn this thing on. Right. Okay, so first of all, This is 272. This is um, what came out of my tap, right? 272. Can you see that? This is um, London tap water as it is. 272 is still within acceptable limits, but on the very verge of acceptable limits. Over 300, it would be considered fouling. Fouling. Okay. Now let's um, try my... Um, this is distilled water now. So this is what has come out of my distiller. 0 0.02. So as you can see, this is pretty much as pure as it gets. 0 0.02. Because the water has been distilled. And I'm guessing the 0 0.02 has come from the actual glass itself. When I washed it, it's not from the water. It's not from the water, it's from the actual cleanliness of the glass itself, right? That's what's giving it the 0 0.02. Right, so now this is the residue um, in the distiller. <laughs> Are you sure you want to see this?
Okay, so that's not 112. That is 712. Can you see that? 712 particles, right, is in the residue of my distiller. That's a seven. Can you see? It's not 112, right? Can you see the top on the set? The, uh, the seven there. 712 is the amount of dissolved um, solids in this water. So pretty much this is um, pure, what do I say? Pure effluent. Pure effluent if there is pure. Seven hundred and twelve, right? Okay, here we go. Seven hundred and twelve. This is what is left in, um, you know, the residue. This is after I've put water in um, the residue, and this this comes under the standard of um, not fit for human consumption. You know, the residue after I've distilled um, my water. It's pretty gross. 712 after I've washed it. Luckily, this is just the, the bit that um, contains. And it, it smells as well. If anyone ever gets a, like a water distiller, you'll find um, the residue that's left, you know, in this, um, you know, your big kettle reservoir. It really smells. It smells so badly. And that is because it contains... Here we go. That's 712. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here we go. That's never that much. Scott's having a problem resetting now after this. Okay. I think I've actually screwed up my um, instrument now. After measuring the actual residue from the distiller. So anyway, distill your water, guys, and stay healthy. Take care.